for another one of those only at the human being moments. You know, I was here. I was at the human being. That's, what was it, 1967? <laughs> 50 years ago, I was definitely there. It was fabulous. Yeah. And I'm so happy to, that they're doing it again and that that spirit still lives on here. Well, yeah. what was the spirit? What was the magic then? You know, I think it was just being together and being, you know, free and dancing to the music and being so free and dancing like we did. And we were flower children. You know, we weren't hippies yet at the human being. We were still flower children, and that's how we saw ourselves, you know? And so it was just the spirit of the whole thing. Actually, when the first being happened, I had already worked for him for a year, it was 66 to 68, and we were in the front row at the first human being. It was so cool. I wasn't a very good guitar player before I took LSD, and when I took LSD, in about six months, everything changed. All of a sudden, I just all of a sudden caught on fire and the guitar started playing itself. It was just the nature of having such a big bulk of group consciousness and everybody connected. When you're at an event like this, what's amazing is it's a mix of people who are there and then people who are inspired by it. And that's when you really can really do the most with history when you have people there who were touched by it and people who are inspired by it. And that's what's really inspiring about tonight. Kate Ashbury is the most magical place inside the world. It changed the world 50 years ago, and we're trying to change it for the better for the next 50 years. I got very involved in the psychedelic culture and uh, started to live the free clinic spirit. I've, I've actually got them turned free from the diggers, Peter Coyote. So this is really important right now in San Francisco and, and United States. This is the love revolution going on, the summer of love. So that's what we mean now more than ever with this stuff is going on. I'm not going to name anyone. This is all good vibes, all positive, all loving, caring. This is what we need on the planet right now. It's about bringing people together in the spirit of peace and unity, love and understanding, and make it all happen and have a great event. The world is going in a very uh, low way. You know, everyone, everyone has to find love because love is the only, I mean really serious, love is the maker of the universe, you know. What's different about this generation is where this, the 60s, they had this like burst of consciousness, but they didn't have the infrastructure to sustain it and create a thriving world with it. But it was like a catalyst and then it kind of fizzled out and there was so much divide of like new consciousness versus old paradigm. But now, there's so many more people and so much more technology and consciousness about it. So it feels like it's grounded. I mean, in some respects, I feel it's our responsibility, me and you, to carry this on. It'd be easy not to look back. We gotta keep building the energy out here around the 50th anniversary to show people care. I think a lot of people wanna either not take it seriously or dismiss it, but we have a unique opportunity here to keep the energy, to keep the building the crowds of people interested in it, celebrate all the positive things that happened, recognize the historical importance of what happened after January 14th, 1967, and make sure people know, we know why it's important. And that's, uh, the bunk, that's what we all have to do as individuals and as a collective. If you can change yourself, you can change the world. We need to shift our attitudes and really put love and our community and everyone as equals. And once we do that, we're gonna be okay, but we really have to solve some problems and it's about caring about your community. What can we do? I think it's really like asking your soul, taking time to get quiet and saying, what is it that brings me alive? And can I do that? Can I bring my joy 
and my purpose to this earth, knowing that there's something for me here to do. And that's all, that's all we're here to do is, is like be in our highest joy and our most authentic expression of our soul. That's it. It's time for us to turn this world around. And the only way you can do it is if you let it shine. Let it shine. Right on, brother. And through the arts, we can talk to the world. We've got to spread the love around and let people know that it's not all gone, you know? I think people have become so involved in machines until they've lost the connection with one another. Now, share love! Keep sharing, keep speaking up, keep going to the streets, keep creating, keep being you, and just reveal your true self. So don't be afraid of just being you. It's been just a pleasure. And I, I'm so looking forward to the, to the year of the summer of love. I can't wait. And this is my first event. And it's been a wonderful rededication to the principles of hippiedom in this terrifying age of the Trumpster. It's a timeless, infinite, long arc. Yeah. And love, love, love. If love, love is love. infinite, there's no shortage. Yeah. The summer of unconditional love. There you go, one of our biggest fans. Thank yeah, you. I that idea, the yeah. idea of unconditional love has to be understood. You know, that's the love we're talking about. We've got uh, a lot of work to do ahead, uh, but people are very uh, ready to evolve.